Well, hello, welcome to Adwick Lane. I've not really done a lot of stuff on the left. The only thing I have done is um, I've redone the arches. Um, and basically, just before I started doing this video, I realised I hadn't glued one in, which, in fact, in fact actually works okay, because um, I'll show you how they were, were before, if you can't remember. Um, there was stone in there, but I wasn't happy with it. So what I've done is printed off some brick paper and I put brick in the arches. I've, I've got a, I was just having a look, and that was that was loose. And I realised that when I was cutting these out, I used this what the one that going here as a template, and I didn't glue it in. And uh, I've just discovered it. But uh, so they're all stuck in behind there, just to sort of give it a little bit, a bit more of a uh, contrast. And also, I wasn't happy with the. The stone effect really to be honest i wasn't happy with it for ages and there was a bit that was split that all ripped off further up so i thought i'd um get that done that's the only thing i've done really um with the actual layout side of things a lot of it's been to do with the rolling stock what i've been uh, doing over the last so many months is upgrading a lot of my hornby motors uh from the um ring field to the um cd drives now I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this um, one-handed because I've got the camera. Um, now the class 90 I've not done yet. That's on on the list to be done. But just as a comparison, right? That's the ring field, right? In there. Um, right now, the class 86 at the back. I've done the CD-ROM drive conversion. And you'll see the difference how smooth that is and also speed wise and that's basically it's a cd rom motor in there but yeah i've done all my 86s except for my ews one because that's that was relatively new so that motor's pretty much okay i've done uh, my class 91 I've um, not done me um, Battle of Britain one because obviously that's a limited edition and I don't want to touch that one. Um, I've done I've done all I've done me my, my 25s, my 29s. Um, what else have I done? Uh, Hornby wise, I think I've done most. The only thing I've got I've got to do me two Hornby 47s. I've done me 37. Uh, my, my Hornby HSTs are done. Um, I think that's it. But um, I'll show you. I'm not going to do all my Lima ones. I've I've done my Lima HST and I've done uh, I've done um, two of me my Lima warships. Well, I'm going to do my Lima westerns as well because um, I'll tell you what it is when you when you pull away. It's all because because of the gearing. I find it sort of, it sort of snatches. Whereas using the, the CD ROM um, motors, um, they just seem seem to be a lot better. But uh, but but yeah, that's the class 86 anyway with a cd rom motor in it and also as well the what the way i was looking at it because ringfield armature packs up to buy one second hand i can buy i can buy sort of three or four cd rom motors um there was there was a couple that i'd uh, done and i had a couple of old CD-ROMs in me in me computer parts box which I'm not going to use so I stripped them down took the motors out and just bought the uh, Lima adapters you can buy Lima adapters separate so that's what, what I did but um, I'll, I'll show you me two um, two warships one converted and one um, unconverted so right here's, here's, here's my two Lima warships green one hasn't had the conversion done yet right that's that although that's not too bad actually um but the blue one was particularly bad um so right now we'll show you i'll show you the the blue one just i'll just hold the camera while i <laughs> switch the point over right here we go right so here's the the blue one there this has got the cd um adapter in it it's a lot quieter and 
and uh, I'll in fact I'll show you my Lima HST actually um, I don't know if I can reach the power card without having to turn no, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do I'll, I'll um, pause it and then I'll uh, get the, the HST power card and I'll show you how, how smooth that runs now so here's my Lima HST power car and um, so I've got a bit, bit, bit of dirty track there I've not cleaned it so here we go I mean, now normally how noisy pancake motors are. And I've got a knackered traction tyre as well, I think. <laughs> I need to uh, replace the traction tyre on it as well. I think it's uh, playing up a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot, a lot smoother. Got a good turn of speed as well. Um, the thing is, I don't generally run them at, at full pelt anyway. Um, I, th I think I think this little controller only puts out about nine volt anyway, so it's not going to uh, max out the motors too much. I've also done my little uh, bubble car unit as well. Um, as I say, once again, that's had a, a CD-ROM drive put in. And uh, it's weird. The gearing on this one seems to be a bit, bit more noisy for some reason, and I don't know why. Very strange. I don't know why the gearing's more noisy on that one, um, but it is. But I've also done my three-car DMU Lima one. But when you consider the noise normally of the pancake motor. Um, that's not uh, not too bad at all. Um, as I say, my track needs my track's a bit grubby at the minute, so it needs a good clean again because I've, I've not run anything for a couple of days on it, so it's a bit a little bit grubby. But anyway, it'll be fine. It needs to be clean. In fact, I actually gave all the rooftops a good dust today, so it's probably why it needs cleaning again. Um, right. So anyway. My, 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 my sprinter unit, I've only done the, I'm only putting the power car on, but how quiet that is compared to when you put the pancake motor in. A lot of it depends on the gearing, I think, of them. Um, the gear train that's used, uh, the one with the, like the four sprocket gear trains, they seem to be a lot, lot quieter than say the ones that's got all the you know about three or six uh, sprockets on it but once again you see it's got a good i mean that's not even full and it's got quite a good turn of speed on it um so yeah that's that, that's basically what, what i've been doing um i've done some work on sprocket but i'll do that as a, a separate video uh, maybe do that uh, at the weekend because uh, I'm starting a, a busy period at work at the minute um, so uh, I don't have, have much time to do stuff but um, as I say what I've really done is just redone the infill on the uh, on the archways on the retaining wall with brick and I've just been uh, doing uh, doing mo motor upgrades um, I've just got me two Hornby 47s left to do Got my class 90, um, my class 24 conversion. I'm going to do that. Um, uh, and then Lima, it's going to be. I'm going to do do me other two warships I've got, and I'm going to do me three westerns as well. My Deltics and my 50s and that, they they run nice and smooth. But um, my westerns are particularly a little bit ropey running. So, and I say it's cheaper to do that than to than to buy new armatures. To be honest, and. And it's not a, as I say, it, the trains come in, they stop. You know, it's not um, where, where they're going to be running full pelt through it. So I'm not really uh, that concerned. Um, haven't done anything on the depot yet because it's still all, you know, um, still got to do the top. But now things are getting back to normal. Maybe I'm hoping that the, that the swap meets are starting up because I know there's one at Doncaster Racecourse in August that's still listed. So I'm hoping that's that's going ahead. 
and I'm really looking forward to the Elsica um, Heritage Centre uh, ones um, starting up as well. So hopefully, we'll be able to get get a few more bargains, and also um, going to buy some sort of spares and repairs and things like that. Um, I've got a few other projects I want to do, uh, like my Pullmans. I want to remotor them. Um, hang on a minute, while I think about it, um, that whole me bringing out the Midland Pullman. Well, what I was going to do, I'm, I'm when I bought the GNER Buffy car from the GNER HST I had the one that I painted left over so what I've done is I've painted this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple I'm looking for another couple of cheap Mark 3's so I can paint paint with this and then I can run that with me blue Pullman power cars because at the moment I'm using my Mark 2 my Mark II D ones out of the, the, the Pullman set, and they, they don't look right. But later on, when I get some, um, I'm looking for some cheap GNER HST power cars. Does doesn't matter if they don't run run because I can get them working. But uh, maybe paint them up to run with these as well. But yeah, that's basically it at the minute. That's what that's all I've been doing. Um, I say I've done some work on Sprott, but as I say, I'll put that in a separate video. Anyway, thanks for watching this little update and. Uh, Hope everything's going okay. Happy modeling and uh, catch you on the next video.